I sure hope you're not sitting down to watch YouTube today with a big bowl of my growth popcorn, because it's actually a lot more unhealthy than you might think. But it's not the kernels themselves that are inherently dangerous, but the bags that they're cooked in, which contain a compound called perfluorooctanic acid, or PFOA, which is also used in the manufacture of Teflon. The Environmental Protection Agency has ruled that these chemicals are likely carcinogenic, and these can damage the endocrine system and affect reproductive ability. Canned tomatoes are the basis of many a delicious pasta dish, but you might think twice when you hear that their lining contains bisphenol A, or BPA, which is a toxic chemical linked to reproductive abnormalities, neurological issues, heightened cancer risk, diabetes, heart disease, and more. And these risks can be mitigated by switching to brands which keep their products in glass containers for most food that you usually buy in cans, but especially acidic foods like tomatoes make it more of a risk. Fresh fish, healthy, right? Well, not so fast. More than 60% of the salmon consumed in the USA comes from farmed stock and could actually be dangerous to your health. The fish are fed with an abnormal diet and regularly contaminated with antibiotics, pesticides, chemicals, and other pretty disgusting stuff, not to mention the fact that farmed salmon live in often incredibly cramped conditions, meaning that they often have cases of sea lice. Not nice, so do check where your fish comes from and that it's been sustainably and ethically farmed. Margarine is healthier than butter. That's a myth. It's a big myth. In fact, you'll find a cornucopia of horrifying components in your average block of margarine that you wouldn't find anywhere near natural butter. Not to mention the artificial flavours and preservatives that can make margarine taste more like butter than a lump of chemicals. You'll also find toxic solvents and even hexane, one of the main constituents of gasoline. Now, in some countries, margarine has improved over the last few years, but still, do be careful. The mainstay of many diet options you find on supermarket shelves, these artificially sweetened treats can often be just as dangerous as their natural counterparts. One of the main offenders, aspartame, has been known to stimulate appetite, meaning that you're inclined to actually eat more and even increase cravings for carbohydrates, meaning that you're more likely to then go and consume unhealthy foods. It even has been suggested that it stimulates fat storage and weight gain. All of a sudden, that diet soda doesn't seem quite so appealing. And not only that, aspartame forms methanol, which can play havoc with sensitive proteins and DNA in the body. And since we don't have mechanisms to break methanol down into harmless formic acid. In short, sweeteners often worse than sugar. Do be careful. If you haven't already resolved to change your diet up a bit as a result of this video, then this one might stop you in your tracks. Even the flour, which is used to make the most commercial types of bread, is potentially very dangerous. Refining flour destroys its natural nutrients, leaving you with bread which has no benefits at all, and white processed flour has a very high glycemic rate, which raises the blood sugar level and insulin levels, which can cause diabetes. In addition, most mills are now not content to leave their grains to whiten naturally over time, and often bleach the flour using chlorine gas something you'd expect to find in a swimming pool rather than in your lunchbox. You know things are bad when governments are taking steps to crack down on a food manufacturing process, and trans fats are the top of the hit list right across the world. These unsaturated fats are chemically modified to remain solid at room temperature, and are manufactured via a horrifying process involving hydrogen gas, incredibly high heats, massive amounts of pressure, and a metal catalyst. These frankenfats, as they've been dubbed, have been associated with various serious diseases, including type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, obesity, cancer, and Alzheimer's. Deli meats might seem delicious, but they can also be deadly. These meats are made from animals which are fed on growth hormones, antibiotics, and other veterinary drugs to give producers the largest animal they possibly can. Now, it might be disgusting to know, but take into account the fact that these meats often contain sodium nitrate, as well as a plethora of chemical flavorings and dyes, and this seemingly innocuous and very tasty foodstuff can quite easily lead to cancer. Well, there's no doubt that a healthy amount of daily salt intake is necessary to rebalance the electrolytes in your body. You may be surprised to hear that the common granulated salt you find on your table isn't identical to that which your body needs. 
This table salt contains chemicals like alumina silicate and ferrocyanide and added iodine, most of which present to stop it from clumping together, but it can be harmful to your health. Try some natural options instead if you can, and you need to stop it clumping, try putting your rice in a shaker. Natural rice, obviously. Despite being found in the most delicious treats on the face of the planet, refined sugars and worse, high fructose corn syrup can kill. Nobel laureate in medicine Otto Vorburg all the way back in 1931 discovered that cancer cells use sugar to increase their size and further study has found that these cells positively thrive in the sugary suspension of high fructose corn syrup. So if we know that refined sugars lead to the growth of cancer cells, why do so many major food companies use them in their foods? Simple, it's up to a third cheaper when bought in massive quantities than cane sugar, meaning that it can be found everywhere, cakes, pies, many other extremely popular, mostly processed foods, cookies, sodas, juices, sauces, cereals, and often in fact sugar is put in quite large quantities into ready meals, into savoury things that you wouldn't expect to find sugar in. And again, why? Well, it's found to be roughly as addictive as cocaine. Anyway, all of this stuff can be very bad for you, but don't worry about it too much. Just remember, everything in moderation.